Welcome to Second Take, the show that takes a look at the issues behind the news. The Department of Trade and Industry this week launched a 22 million rand enterprise development pilot program. Natasha Woodendahl tells us more. Hi Natasha. Hi. What is the main aim of the program and what are its components? Well, the two-year pilot project is aimed at actually bolstering um, enterprise development in South Africa. I mean, typically most small business um, SMMEs don't have access to the technology and production facilities required to actually get them off the ground. So now the DTI is trying a different approach um, to integrate these businesses in the townships and informal economies um, and get them actually operating in the mainstream. Now the program will have three components to it, um, each of which they'll be piloting over the next two years um, in various stages and after which they will actually put out a report and, and strategize a way forward if you must. And these components include um, establishing facilities at TVET colleges, revitalizing our industrial parks which have been dormant for some time now since their establishment many many years ago and also integrating um, economic development or local economic development into municipalities. How does the DTI propose to revitalize the non-performing industrial parks? Uh, at the moment they're going to take a detailed study um, having a look at what went wrong with the initial industrial parks that were established, why they are now abandoned and, and deteriorating. Um, they're going to take a look um, at the issues and the challenges behind it at five pilot sites. At the five pilot sites they're actually going to examine uh, you know, the financial feasibility of revitalizing the industrial park, um, strategize what they can do to bring it back up to its former glory, um, see how they can finance to upgrade or even expand the industrial parks for the SMEs to participate, and then eventually look at it a way to bring them back to what they were actually meant, the role they were actually meant to play, which means boosting SME manufacturing. Um, allowing the SMMEs to create the jobs that are required in South Africa and just allowing them to participate in the mainstream economy. What will the specialized industrial facilities component entail? Well that seems to have two separate aims. The one aim is that it's going to be established at the colleges which will enable students to also learn and develop skills from the SMMEs um, learn how to obviously progress themselves through that. Then the establishment at the TVETs will actually let the SMMEs have access to small production facilities and technology that they otherwise wouldn't. So the DTI is actually going to establish design centers at I think it was four TVET colleges to start off with along with very small production facilities to sort of integrate student and SMME collaboration, allow productivity um, to increase for the SMMEs, allow students to learn, you know, and just build up generally in, in that sense. And the areas of focus are going to be the sectors that actually have the most job creation potential. That would be uh, manufacturing, um, construction, metal fabrication, um, even jewelry design and, and production. The last component is aimed at boosting local economic development. Yes, that's actually an interesting one. Um, what they're going to do in six muni district municipalities is actually try and implement a local development platform, if you may, with, with the municipalities in that region, in the regions that they've selected. Um, they're trying to build the capacity of municipalities to help SMMEs in their, in their sectors, in their regions, to participate um, either in procurement or in their little economy, um, in the regions that they actually operate. Uh, they're trying to have a look at what needs to be done to implement um, skills and knowledge programs for both the municipalities and SMMEs, and in general just allow more collaboration to take place. Thank you. That's the second take show for this week. Thank you for watching and join us again next time for more news analysis.